Morning everyone. Silly Moustache here. This is um, in direct response to a request by Paddy C. Bless him. Um, and it's a kind of part two of that finding the melody concept uh, that seems to have attracted quite a lot of attention. And I'm thrilled about that because um, it's, uh, it's something that I've believed in for quite a long time. So, um, as it seems that my version of Guy Clark and Sean Camp's Magnolia Wind has proved so popular, uh, I'm going to look at it that way. Now, um, uh, it's known as a Guy Clark song, and I've always called it a Guy Clark song. It is, as I understand it, part of a trilogy which came out of a long conversation between Sean Camp and Guy Clark about Sean's childhood um, and um, an itinerant fiddler that used to turn up from Arkansas called Sis Draper. And um, Sean and Guy um, put out a song called Sis Draper based on um, a melody of the Arkansas Traveller in um, 1999 in the album Cold Dog Soup, in Guy Clark's album Cold Dog Soup. And Magnolia Wind appeared in 2002 on the album The Dark. I uh, strongly suggest that you look at the way that Sean Camp plays it, and I shall be putting some links to, his, to videos of his version. My version has nothing to do with that, apart from the fact that I'm taking the words and I'm finding the melody in my own way. I would say that Sean plays in a drop D, which I will simulate here by playing a D shape E which will give you that. And he does it, and I can't do it, but it goes. Something like that. But he plays out of a D a lot with his numbers. He's got longer fingers and a longer reach than me. I tend to play almost entirely out of a G shape. And I, in for, for um, Magnolia Wind, I'll play it in D, but out of a C shape. And so I'm going to break down how I came about this, if I can remember. Um, so D is a good key for me to sing in especially now and excuse me if my voice isn't very clear I mean, have some troubles with the throat at the moment um, so um, Guy's version of this is quite different to um, Sean's so work uh, um, and um, and mine is different again and um, I change the I, it, I believe that I might change the uh, chord progression in the chorus a little bit. I don't believe Guy did that. Um, but what I heard first of all was I'd rather sleep in a box like a bum on the street than a fine feather bed like your little old cold feet I'd rather be dead Dumb and stone blind Than to know that you're mourning But never be mine Now let's break down that melody I'd, ra I'd rather sleep in a box Like a bomb on a street Fine feather bed With that your little old cold feet And I'd rather be dead Dumb and stone blind And to know that you're mourning But never be mine I'd rather sleep in a Like a bum on the street Than a 
So I'm sitting picking rather than singing, hearing that melody. I'd rather sleep in a box like a bum on the street than a fine feathered bed. Little rundown. Without your little old cold feet, I'd rather be deaf, dumb and stone blind. Then to know that your morning could never be mine, or something like that. I've lost the tune there, sorry. So I'm knowing that it's nothing more than a three chord trick there. I'd rather sleep in a box. So I'm playing the third. One, two, three of that scale I'd rather sleep in a box like a bomb on the street than a, than a fine feathered bed without your little old feet or words to that effect or notes to that effect let's try it all through the melody line but that includes I'll, I'll just do the melody line if I can now I'm going to add in the bass line to it in as much as there's a that's what your double bass player should be playing yeah so I'm playing that and you've got the little bit of I always say that it should be only a downbeat doing a down and up. I'm doing a strum. Sorry about that. So you're hearing the bat. into a bum cheeky cheeky sort of thing. So I'm adding that that melody into it uh, along with my singing and I don't know why and I don't really know how but that's what these fingers do. Rather stiff and rather painful fingers this morning. Um, but it's because, of course, to sell a song well, you need an intro, you need a melody line coming out of the intro by someone. It's either me or it's Mando Bob or Mandolin or something else. Uh, on this one, it's always been...
right to sleep in a box like a bum on the street in a fine feather bed without your little old cold feet and I'd rather be dead dumb and stone blind than to know that you're gonna Never be mine. Now, what I do with a chorus, I believe that Guy, and one of the recordings I listened to over the weekend, uh, just use that same sequence all the way through. I do. And I'd rather not walk. Now, that's the relative minor. I'm playing in D and I'm going to B minor now. Um, so it's morning. Never be mine. I'd rather not walk through the garden again. If I can't catch your scent on a magnolia wind. I don't do tablature or anything like that, and I couldn't write this down if I tried. And it doesn't have to be like that. This is the essence of the melody. It's not the actual melody all the time. Generally speaking, I'd never, I'd, I would say that I never play a song the same way twice or the break um, the same way twice, but I've played this long song since 2002 pretty much continuously and so I guess it gets a bit repetitive as does the intro um, it has a certain um, poignancy to me because um, I've been a backer of uh, a project to um, make a film and a book about Guy Clark and um, it's called Without Getting Killed of Court and, uh, and I've learned quite a lot more about what Guy was going through over those years um, nursing his wife who had probably Alzheimer's and some other disease and guy managing his own cancer um, <laughs> something that I kind of identify now um, and um, and so uh, I always sing this looking at my wife if she's in the audience uh, and uh, well it's rather poignant and um, you know, when you get to my age, you start thinking about what happens when you pass on, and if it ever comes time, comes time to go. And my wife says, if you died, I would just take out everything in your office and burn it, <laughs> because she, she couldn't understand all the bits and pieces in there, and the hoarding of guitar-related paperwork. Um, and, um, uh, you know, the choruses are rather nice, uh, and it's a kind of vow of love. I'd rather not hear pretty music again if I couldn't catch a fiddle. I don't know you've been a cis draper played fiddle. Uh, my wife didn't play fiddle, uh, but uh, that's uh, um, just a, a little bit of poetry. So you can play this out of a D shape. or you can play it like me or even better you could play it like you yeah so I hope that's been helpful um, the tune is in the chord
if it ever comes time Well, it comes time to go Well, I'll pack up your food I'll pack up your boat And if I can't dance with you I don't want to dance at all I just sit this one out With my back to the wall And I'd rather not hear Pretty music again If I can't catch a fiddle on a magnolia I'd rather die young Than to live without you And I'd rather go hungry Than eat lonesome soup For it's once in a lifetime And it won't come again Well it's here that it's gone like a magnolia wind Yes, it's here then it's gone Like a magnolia wind I hope that helps and if you have been, thanks for watching.